So okay, yeah, for the card for the card in the list in card, you're going to include some tasks that are related with each other. And in I mean in list, you're going to continue or include things that are included in that are tasks that are related with each other, okay? And for example, if you if you remember the tutorial or if you have opened the trailer for the first time, there is this default structure of a, a list, right? The to do in progress and things then. So those are things that are related with each with each other. So if when you minimize things or when you write specific things, then you go, you will go to cards. But yeah, different cards that are related with each other that contains tasks that are related with each other, they will be contained inside one list. And the other is, I think the, your question was, how can I be sure to include a member in Trello? Then you need to send an invitation for, uh, you, you need to enter an email of that person, okay? So like when you enter, when you try to add another member into your Trello, then a, no a notification will be sent for that email address. So for that purpose, you might use our email address or you can use an email address that you will create. Any email address, okay? So that we, okay, for example, I have uh, received an invitation from you. So the moment I will accept that invitation and I, the moment I will be joining the Trello, then you will be able to add me as, uh, to assign a task for that specific person, or in this case, for me. The file is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, if to Sarah. If to Sarah, you can go on. If to say, are you there? If you're speaking, then we're not hearing you. Okay, maybe it's by mistake. Another question. So, it seems like everyone is uh, on the same track or if most of us are on the same track or we're able to do tasks that are we supposed to do until today. So if there is no question, then we might end the session. Thank you everyone for being here and goodbye.